Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I will be teaching about the pressure law. Now, the pressure law is also called the Hamilton's law. Now, the pressure law, okay, mathematically is given to a pressure directly proportional to temperature. Now, mathematically, P is equal to KT, whereby K is equal to P over T. Now, it becomes P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2, whereby this is the initial pressure, initial temperature, final pressure, final temperature. Now, it should be noted that the temperature can be in degrees Celsius or Kelvin scale. Now, let's go ahead and solve this question written on the board. Now, the question says, a certain amount of gas at a pressure of 0.8 atmosphere. So, it means that that is the first pressure we get. So, it's the first pressure, 0.8 atmosphere. Is contained in a glass vessel. Full stop. Suppose that the vessel can withstand a pressure of 2 atmosphere. So it means that pressure 2 is 2 atmosphere. How high can you increase the temperature of the gas with bursting the vessel? Now, what is the first temperature and what is the second temperature? Because this question says we should get the second temperature because it said how high can you increase the temperature? So we're looking for this, but what is T1? Now you can see that this reaction occurs in the vessel. Okay? Now it means that this reaction was first maintained in a particular what now? Vessel. So the T1 is 25 degrees Celsius because it was maintained at room temperature. Okay, 25 degrees Celsius. Whereby converting it to the Kelvin scale addition of 273, so we get 298 Kelvin. So, with this equation written on the board, we can get the T2 just in, making T2 subject it become what now? P2 T1 over P1, whereby T2 become P2 2 times T1, 298 over, okay, P1, which is 0 0.8. So, one person will have to get 7, 4, 5. Kelvin. 745 Kelvin. It should be noted that the reactor was maintained in the vessel. So our T1 is 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's the room temperature. So, so this is how to solve this question written on the board. And the pressure law is also called the amount law. Thanks for watching. 